Hi, this is Graphically Alex coming at you with all things fat related. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Today, we're going to be covering somebody's take where they talk about how evil former fats are. And I just thought I would go ahead and watch it because I want to see what I can look forward to as a future former fat. So I'm going to take hints and lessons from Miss Georgia Rose on what to do when I'm a former fat. Okay. So let's go. This doesn't surprise me at all. I so the comment here says, me being fat before made me hate fat people even more. Okay. I get comments almost every single day from the former fats. It is one of the main groups that stays hating. Not all of them. Not all former fat people have this nasty ass attitude. So to be a former fat, I need to stay hating. Okay. That's easy. Not all of them, but a lot of them. It seems like because you well what's the difference between those that do and those that don't that would be an interesting take from you but it doesn't sound like we're gonna get that we're gonna get i've watched the beginning of this to test the audio we're gonna get some pop psychology bs you can't go home and like hate yourself for being fat anymore it seems like because you can't go home and like hate yourself for being fat anymore you have to like go on tiktok to strangers profiles and hate them for being fat even she's almost laughing at what she's saying. I think she knows it's BS, but whatever. I think what it is is that a lot of times people that are formerly fat, there's a lot of different things. Sometimes they struggle or they do something really difficult to lose the weight or sometimes they struggle with the same mindsets that you have. And they just hate hearing it and it just drives them nuts because it's usually just like a lot of excuses and ED logic a lot of the time in fat acceptance because you have to understand that when you're a fat acceptance activist, you're pushing to accept being fat, which means that somebody who lost the weight diametrically opposes your worldview. And whenever you oppose somebody's worldview so drastically, you're going to have pushback from those people. So I don't know that formerly fat people cannot stand fat people in general i would say they probably cannot stand fat activists and fat acceptance activists which would make sense because their entire ideology is the complete opposite okay so anyways let's continue for what for what this comment is giving i haven't healed this comment is giving, I never worked out the true issue. This comment is giving my fat folks. This, we're getting into like religious territory again, which I will always point out with fat activists because they treat their rhetoric like a religion. And it gets really weird because this is not anything to base like faith upon. Like you will only end up dying earlier if you take fat acceptance if you put your faith in fat acceptance you will die an earlier death basically phobia is bubbling over so hard that i have to spew it onto other people the sin the fat phobia people because i can no longer put it on myself why <laughs> why don't you just ask somebody why like speculate so wildly and do like pseudo-religious rhetoric over it it's kind of cringe why? Why make this TikTok? Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. This one I think is a little bit longer. I think she really gets into the former fat hater aid. So let's go. Somebody said here, right, I lost 170 pounds. I was only able to do that when I stopped taking my own excuses. Don't worry, she's more mean to herself in her head than anyone on the internet could be. That's why she's mad. Yeah. I mean, if this person, if Georgia, I can't say she has an ED or whatever. I don't, I can't diagnose that. But I'm saying if she did, that would absolutely be the truth. You're always meanest to yourself. Um, and again, there's a running commentary in your mind all the time with that type of issue. So yeah, I wouldn't say that this comment is particularly hateful, but we will see. Um this person's caption says, 
I will never grasp the former fat to bull- to online bully pipeline. It's almost like losing the weight didn't actually make you a happier person and now you're just even more bitter. It's kind of giving projection a little bit, but let's go ahead and watch what she has to say. I'm curious. Why are the former fats always giving this like snarky, nasty ass pick me energy? What is... I don't know. Like, is it more pick me to try to get guys that aren't attracted to you to you to date you or is it more pick me to just take care of yourself is it more pick me to keep the weight on to to please the other fat people in your life or fat activists in your life that would have an issue if you lost it I mean this I think the whole like pick me thing as an argument it just needs to kind of die because in a lot of cases, you can use it either way, and it's just kind of stupid. It's not really an argument. So, anyways. is What is the deal with this? You came through and left, like, five rude-ass comments in a row. This one where I was talking about how my boyfriend pays my bills, you said because laying on your back is your job. Very feminist of you. Okay, well, that's definitely judgmental, but it's also not about fatness. I don't think it's a different topic. It is actually very feminist to support sex workers if that's what people want to do. But I don't have to do that for him. There are different kinds of feminists. Some don't agree with that. So I'm not going to get into the weeds of this, but she's wrong. To pay my bills at all. You said have children and then teach them to laugh with people and not be. I don't have to do that for him to pay my bills at all. You said have children. Okay, I don't know. I guess she's proud that her boyfriend's paying her bills. I don't know. I don't really care, honestly. That's so uninteresting to me. Ooh. Sorry, I must unplug this. Okay. And then teach them to laugh with people and not be suicidal <laughs> because someone called them a fatty when they eat, eat. It's good to be a little bit resilient in general. That I will agree with. Resilience is good. Um, you know what's crazy is that you have a child and instead you could teach them not to bully and to like stand up for other people. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not the type where I'm going to sit on here and lecture people that have kids when I don't. It's just not really my style. I always try to like have that kind of respect because it's a little bit cringy to try to tell people what to do when you don't have it yourself like and even still like every kid is different so it's just kind of cringe to me personally I also think it's cringy how you're always like I don't know it just always goes back to this like fat acceptance they don't want to tell people what to do and everyone else wants to tell everyone what to do you're telling her what to do with her kid and all that it's just cringe girl it's a hate comment. I get it. It sucks to have a hate comment. But again, if your boyfriend's paying your bills and all that, you really don't need to be online, do you? So pick a lane, pick a brag, pick a flex, and just leave it at that. Okay? And to do the right thing in this world. And instead, you're just saying, just laugh at the jokes. Just laugh at the jo- I know they're making fun of you. I know they don't respect you. I know they don't value you as a human or see you as an equal. Just laugh along. It's called having a sense of humor and it's called being cool, but you wouldn't understand. Just laugh along. That's great for their self-esteem and development, right? It's great to be resilient, yes. It's very important to be resilient. I mean, obviously, I don't think it's good to traumatize a kid. I don't think it's good to go way too far, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, I mean, ugh, you know, having a sense of humor is good. You also replied to another comment where someone was being fat shaming and rude, and you replied and said, is that a fat joke with the laughy face? Just because this person doesn't understand Gen Z slang, like, this is like grabbing at straws. This is desperation. 
your internalized fat phobia here and the way that you're trying to like distance yourself from fatness to seem better than is like your pseudo religious judgment is really irritating and very grating and um concerning but mainly what i want to address here is your projection and i think your blatant disregard of health effects of obesity is more concerning this comment you said don't worry she's more mean to herself in her head than anyone on the internet could be. and it must have stung because you're responding to it and doing a whole ass presentation about it be that's why she's mad you think i hate myself even if her assumption is wrong, you've assumed a lot of stuff and you've assumed the exact same thing. So, again, this is just like, I'm done with like the moral posturing from you, okay? Like, you're no better. You see someone like me and you think that I live in 24-7 thinking, this is disgusting, nobody wants me, this is awful, this is terrible. I feel like, if you make a whole thing, like a whole page about how great it is to be fat, then there has to be like some kind of level of that there because it, it probably wouldn't come up in your mind. Like if you didn't feel like there's anything wrong with it, then you wouldn't feel the need to overcompensate for it. Like there's a huge difference between like making a comment or making a post about being fat and just like, yeah, whatever, I'm going to live my life because I'm fat and I don't care versus like doing a whole ass page. And like taking up a whole ass activism, you know, I know that as somebody who has taken up a page and is doing activism myself, it's a very important issue. That's why I do it. It really matters, you know, so I speak a lot against obesity, against this. I don't think it should be accepted. I talk about why it shouldn't be accepted. I talk about it from my experience of being fat it doesn't have to do with self-hatred. It doesn't have to do with hatred really at all because it's more so a warning call towards others to please get it under control. Don't fall into ED behaviors. Don't let it snowball. Fight your ED. Get out of it, right, as soon as you can and all these different things because if you wait, it is harder to get out. I would say the same thing to you. Does that mean that I hate you? No. Will you listen? Not necessarily. But will other people listen? Yes. Do I care if any individual listens? No. Do I care that somebody listened? Yes. That's why I do it. Okay? But most of the time for me, when I respond to a hate comment, and like post it, like if I were to have a TikTok and I were to do this and like respond to a comment, it would be for an educational moment or about something that I'm getting constantly. I don't care about like personal hate comments and stuff on this channel because at the end of the day, this particular channel is not really about me. It's about the issues. It's about the message and it's about my research and a lot of other stuff. That's what it's about. So yeah, I just don't take it all that personally on this channel. So I would only talk about something if it was a certain rhetoric. Like somebody once made a comment that said, men don't ever have hormonal issues. That is a common myth. So I showed the comment and ridiculed it and brought attention to that and responded to the rhetoric of it. Did it have anything to do with the person? No, it had to do with the rhetoric. This is about you. This is you having an issue because somebody made a hate comment about you. So it's like, it's just kind of cringe. That's all I'm saying. From one content creator to another, this is cringe. Terrible. This is so gross. This is, well, I don't know what the fuck you think I think about myself. And in my own head, and you can ask anybody who's spent time around me, I don't know, the last like 10 years, I fucking like myself. I like my fat body. I don't. sure care that i'm fat it is what it is you're not that great of an actress i'm just gonna put it to you that way it is yolo i'm happy i know better actors it's not you but a good fucking time and people like me and people like being around me 
And one thing I can tell from looking well, at you. Sure, because you tell them what they want to hear. You know, it's easy to have people like you if you tell them what they want to hear all the time and you basically live to please others. I don't do that, so it wouldn't be me. But, you know, yeah, from this side of the fence, it looks easy, you know, easier because there's a lot of moments in my life where I have to stand alone, where I'm the only person that believes something, or I'm the only person that will disagree in a, in a room full of people. That's difficult. There's times where I've been ostracized and all these kinds of things. I'm not saying necessarily about this issue, but I'm saying in general because whether it's personal issues, whether it's being in, you know, there's been situations where I was like living in a house where there was a narcissist kind of in control of the house and I was the only person that saw through his BS in the whole house. It was lonely. I don't think you have the guts for that. You don't have the resilience. You don't have that, you know, which is fine. But I'm just saying I don't really like respect you or find you to be like somebody that I could ever look up to or that anyone else should really look up to. I see you as a very weak person. That doesn't mean that you deserve to be treated badly. It's just you're a very weak person. You know, and no shade, but it's like, it kind of shows over and over. And even the fact that you have to respond to this, it's a little bit weak, you know? And I'm not saying that it's bad to respond to a hate comment. It's fine. But it's like, you have somebody else paying your bills. (laughs) You don't have the discipline to keep yourself in shape. You know, I don't even know if you are working like again maybe I'm not seeing enough of the full picture and that's completely fine but the impression I'm getting is that you're like barely working that somebody else pays for everything and you still don't have the time or effort or energy to stay in shape it's just I don't know it's just giving a not resilient person you also have no sense of humor and like perpetual victim energy when it's like, it doesn't seem like your life is that hard. It just isn't giving. It's not giving somebody I would respect, honestly. That's what it's not giving. Profile that you do not look happy. You do not look comfortable in your body. Maybe just take some time to do some self-reflecting on why you're saying that I'm mean and nasty to myself in my head and that that's why it bothers me. Like yeah, I wouldn't say that. I would just say, like I said, I just think you're a weak person. That's all. That's my opinion, you know. This, this comment gives such a clear view into your head and how, like, warped your thinking is. You could seriously benefit from, like, talking that out with a counselor and addressing just your internal hatred for yourself. I think you could benefit from trying to get your own life together. You know, with all due respect, you seem really young and you seem very immature and weak. So I would consider maybe strengthening up a bit or finding some internal resilience or something or getting some kind of life experience so that you can teach people something. Like, what are you really teaching people? To just give up and be fat and whatever, health consequences be damned. I don't respect it. I don't. whoop de doo I'm going to get on here and tell everybody what they want to hear all the time. And then I'm going to brag that everyone likes me. Yeah, okay. But you're not a good friend. You're not a good person. You're a weak person. Period. Because it's spilling over to the point that you're spilling it onto me. Do you see that? Because it's fucked up. Like, you're not making the world a better place. Do you not understand that a lot of people don't give a shit about what you have to say? Like, you have to get people to even care about what you say before you say something. Like I said, there's no respect. I don't respect you. So it's like, I don't care what you have to say. And I think a lot of these people don't understand that. I know damn well you're not changing this person's mind. You're not changing my mind. 
You're not changing my audience's mind. You're not changing a lot of people's mind. All we're seeing is somebody low-key having a tantrum because somebody said something they don't like, which again, you can always kindly get offline, give up. You gave up on losing weight. You gave up on getting healthy. Go ahead and give up on the channel. It would make the world a better place. So if that's one of your goals in life as a parent is to maybe leave things better than you found it, maybe just mold this over. Food for thought. But I don't want you to get fat, so don't eat too much of it. Why are the former fat? <sighs> that was like almost funny if there would have been a better delivery. But again, not a good actress or actor. Okay, you guys. So that's it. What did you guys think? Let me know. I don't know why this is on the table. I blame my mother. I blame my mother who's not paying all my bills. Because some of us actually work. <laughs> Just kidding. I had to. I had to say it. I had to. Anyways, you guys, thank you for enjoying today's uh, edition of my Eros tour. And I'll be back again tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.